it's much easier to show you what Firebug does than to actually explain it. The first thing we need is to download Firefox. So we can go to www.mozilla.org and download Firefox. So we go to this website and just press Get Firefox. And don't get it for the Android, just get it for your computer. It's either Mac uh, or Windows based. So the first thing you do is download that. It's a browser. It's a web browser just like Chrome or Internet Explorer or Safari. And uh, once it's open, like mine is, then you go to Tools and you click Add-ons. Then you go to Get Add-ons. And now search for Firebug. And we can see it's there, and just click install. Now we want to restart Firefox. Alright, once we have that installed, you'll see this little icon right up here. Looks like a little bug. Now I can properly explain what fire what Firebug does by showing you. You click on the little icon and make sure it's in uh, HTML right here. And then you click this. It's the inspect icon. So we can inspect this one, roll over this, and we see that the color right here Make sure style is uh, selected here, not computed. We see that the color is black. Maybe we can change that to green or orange. Now this isn't actually making the site different. If we refresh the site, we'll see that we didn't actually make any changes to the site. We're just changing how we view it. So let's make this orange and we can make the background a different color. Let's make it green. And we can make the font size bigger also. And maybe we don't like this menu, this color. We can make it yellow. Oh, that looks ugly. Blue. Alright, that's ugly too. But you get the point. We can edit, we can make these edits, and then once we make these edits, we can take the code and copy it, find this file right here, style.css, and paste it in, and then refresh our page, and it will it will actually make the change to everyone, not just yourself. So that was a quick, uh, quick introduction to Firefox and Firebug. In later tutorials, I'm going to show you how to replace this with a logo, uh, actually save these changes in WordPress, and uh, change the font size, which we saw, but actually make the changes permanent. Because we, if we click refresh, remember, it doesn't affect anyone else. It just affects how we view the screen.